Hi there, this is Steven again, and in this video I wanted to give you a little demonstration of what you can do when you're modeling if you're modeling in symmetry and one side, if you're trying to make sure that one side of the character or one side of an object, you want it to look like the other side of the object, but you've sort of lost symmetry, you're working in object symmetry, and, and I usually do when I'm, I'm working in the object X, so when I model or modify something on one side, it will show on the other side. I don't have to, you know, and in the center, it's obviously just, you know, one point, but on this side of the object, it'll automatically suck the other side. Now, for whatever reason, say, for example, you have lost symmetry, so you turned off symmetry for whatever reason, and you started doing some modeling, and that side of the model all of a sudden is not reflecting the same, and you want to get it back into symmetry. The best way to do this is just to mirror one side over to the other. So I'm going to show you a method to do that. One thing you could do is just kind of keep modeling until you get to a point where you want it to get back into symmetry or you want to get it back. You can do this method to get it back, right? Put it back into a mirrored state. So I'm going to show you from the front view. I'm going to right click and go to object mode. So right now this character is obviously I've been working in symmetry and it's pretty well mirrored. But what I'm gonna end up doing is right clicking and going to face and selecting all the faces right here down the center. One thing to point out with this character is I have a line going right down the center. Don't worry necessarily if it's not straight, if for whatever reason you have vertices that moved over or whatever. I can get this back, I'll get it back. I'll show you a method of how, if that happens, you can get it back. So I'm just selecting half of the character, all the faces on one half, and I'm just gonna press delete. Let's say for, you know, just for example, these vertices, you know, aren't lined up, you know, kind of they're off that center line. What I need to do is make sure everything is lined up right down the center, right? So what I can do is I'm going to go to edge mode and I can double click this edge and then I'm going to hold down command or control if you're on a PC and go two vertices and then select two vertices. And again, that's holding down command or control right-clicking, going two vertices, and then two vertices. And then it's going to select all the vertices that were part of that edge selection. Now, I can't just hold down W, hold down X, and snap it, because it doesn't move these vertices over, right? It just moves everything in place and snaps most of them to the center, but it doesn't re-correct the ones that are off-center. So the best way to get them back is if you go up here into this very top menu icons, these icons right along the top, and these little separators will kind of expand and collapse them. So I expand this one right here, which you'll see has this little, it looks like a little target. It's really a, you know, kind of a dot and it indicates what you're doing for selection. So it's showing that this specifies the input type for the input line. So but right now, because I have these components selected, I have vertices selected, it's just gonna operate off this. So I go into the X, and I'm just gonna type in zero and hit enter. And what it does is it lines up everything to be right at zero on the X. And if I want, I can hold down X and make sure that that's snapped. But since I entered zero, it took all the values for that X and made them zero. Right? And again, this is probably usually collapsed by default. So I just open that up and make sure that I can enter zero right there, right? And once I have that, I make sure that all my vertices are right down the center. It doesn't matter any other vertices that are around the other parts of the character. It just matters what's right down the center. And the reason why is because I'm going to be mirroring this across on the other side and they need to match up. The next thing I want to do is make sure that my pivot point, my center pivot point is right in the center. If your character was lopsided at all, in any way, shape, or form, I want to make sure that this pivot point is right, right there in the center. So let's say, for example, it was over here for some odd reason. I need to hold down D and X, and I'm going to snap that to, cent to the center. I don't need to go up or down. Just move it in the X. Move it back and forth so it's right there in the center line of the character. Once that's done, I'm going to go up to Edit. I'm going to go to Duplicate Special, Option Box, and in the option box, and since I've done this before, you'll see that it has a negative one on the X, which is exactly what I want. I want it to be mirrored a scale of negative one on the X. So I click duplicate special, which will apply that and close this window. And now I have two halves of a character, right? 
And right now they're not joined together, so I couldn't use the object symmetry to model them. If I did, what's going to happen, I'm going to go to vertex, it's not going to modify the other side. So before I do anything else, what I want to do is I want to combine these two sides. So I'm going to go to object mode, and I'm going to select both. I just shift select the other side. And then I'm going to go over here to the modeling toolkit and go to combine. And once that's combined, you're going to see it's all one mesh now. It's all considered one mesh. The only problem with this is, though, these vertices down the center, you'll notice I selected one of them, and, and it shows that there are two selected. So what's happening here is that there are two halves of this. And since I have object symmetry on, it's moving it, right? There's still two halves, and the vertices need to be merged. So I'm going to go undo, and then I'm going to select this entire edge. And again, Command or Control, right-click two vertices. And I have all the vertices selected. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up over here. I can add this down here to my custom shelf in this toolbox. I have another video that discusses how to do that. But this one right here, as you notice in the bottom left down here, when you hover over it, it says Merge. And so I'm just going to click that. It's going to merge all those together. And if I go to Vertex, I'm going to deselect and just I select across one of them, you're going to see that it shows one. So if I go small enough for this, let's see with that one. So I might be selecting another one in the back. So I'm going to hit F on the keyboard, frame that up just a little bit. And now when I select across that, I was probably selecting another one that was behind it. But now I can see there's only one vertex. And if I just select it once, press W on the keyboard, when I move it, I have to turn off object symmetry because it's trying to work in symmetry. Now they're connected together. So I'm going to turn back on symmetry because now when I start to move my model again, I'm going to make sure that I'm working on both halves. So that's how you can take your model and make sure that you have the same thing of the symmetry. Now eventually when you're modeling, you're probably going to you know, do something different where it's no longer symmetrical. But at least when you're starting out and you're kind of blocking out a character or an object model, this will make sure that you're continuing to work in symmetry if you need to. And then when you get to the point where you need to make something different on one side than the other, then you can work on that separate, right? But this is how you can get that back into shape. So I hope this helps and good luck with it.